kingdom. God has never failed. God has never lost. I am a winner today. I declare to you today that I'm a winner not because of who I am or what I am or what I possess, because I'm a child of God. And Jesus has already won the victory. My friend, it doesn't matter what you're going through today. It doesn't matter what you're doing now. You may be at a particular battle. You're still going to win. You may be duking around the devil, but I'm telling you, you're still going to win. The line has really been written. The chapter has been written. You come back to win that every time. You've got to believe that. Never give up. There's no precedent in the Bible for giving up. God determines how long the test will last, not we. I can't give up. I can't throw it in the towel. Hallelujah, I got too much and I've come from a land of quitting. Praise the name of our God. This ain't the first time I had to face a hard time. Therefore, since we're surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let's just also lay aside every written thing which clings so closely and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. Who are you going to be? If you're not, I'm not asking what are you going to do, but who are you going to be? I'm asking you how you plan to live every day. How are you going to spot the job you didn't get that you had your heart stand on? For all of you who are going to be teachers, what are you going to do with the students in your class next year? Just don't respond to your lessons. For all of you going into business, how will you relax when your boss gives you a goal that feels way too high? See, these are the moments that define us. Not the day you get the promotion. Not the day you win teacher of the year. But the times that force you to claw and scratch and fight just to get through the day. The moments when you get knocked down and you wonder where it's even worth it to get up. So, see, these are the times when you gotta ask yourself, who am I gonna be? And I want to be clear, this isn't just some day platitude about building character. In recent years, we've actually been seeing a growing body of research that shows that skills like resilience and conscientiousness can be just as important to your successes as your test scores or even your IQ. For instance, West Point cadets who scored high on things like grit and determination were more likely to complete basic training than those who ranked high on things like class rank, SAT scores and physical fitness. So what we're seeing is that if you're willing to dig deep, if you're willing to pick up yourself when you fall, if you're willing to walk and walk until your weaknesses become your strength, then you develop a set of skill that you can mold and apply to any situation you encounter, any job you might have, any crisis you might confront, but you've got to make that choice. I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. And that is Philippians 4 verse 13. I hope you liked this video. If you did, subscribe, ring that ding a -ling -a bell, and we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye. My God is so big and so strong and so mighty There's nothing my God cannot do God is so big and so strong and so mighty There's nothing my God cannot do My God is so big and so strong and so mighty There's nothing my God cannot do